John McGuinness. Another few riders got to get a lesson from the master here. And McGuinness will be still aware that it's all looking good, but fuel will be on his mind, there's no doubt. And if he starts slowing down for back markers, and he is, he's getting very held up here, John McGuinness. He is, and that's the first of four back markers right in front of him. Yeah, he needed to, you, you're talking to yourself at this point, aren't you? Just get out of the way, get out of the way, we've all done it. The problem is, though, that even the backmarkers are going from kerb to kerb, they're using all the road and you don't really want to be upsetting him. He'll know that that's a less experienced rider. And he's loving a look now, but he's, yeah, he's, he's getting held up. Try on the outside, he's got through this time. Sure. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't, has he? No. <laughs> but maybe, I'm saying you're going from one side to another. Maybe he's slips through and saving the fuel. Maybe he's just... Uh, Shifting through there, he's got through this time, but yep. oh, bit of a moment actually. He <laughs> uh, nearly well, outbraked just, himself. Just then. put him offline, didn't it? One more back mark in front of him now. So, John McGuinness just a few miles away from his 19th TT win. How special will that be? He's closing in on that uh, Joey Dunlop. Yeah, he's closing in on this back marker on the black bike now. That's number 69. That's Dave Jensen. That's uh, he's a Kiwi guy. So Ryan Farquhar must know that Michael Dunlop is making inroads into that second position and has put the, the throttle back to the stop again. But we're all looking now for number nine, Michael Dunlop, to see as he can take that second place. 13 seconds is the difference between Ryan Farquhar and John McGuinness. Michael Dunlop is here now, and it's only half a second. Half a second between Michael Dunlop and Ryan Farquhar. Ramsey Hairpin, last lap. So this man has to really press on to try and stay in front of Michael Dunlop, the Kawasaki, well, both Kawasaki's for that matter. He hasn't got far to go. This is Keppelgate, he's dropping down the mountain, and again, he'll be, he's not able to, you know, ease it off and conserve the fuel. Yeah. Because this Actually, man's Actually, words come up from the bungalow now. He's actually up into second place, and Michael Dunlop has got past Farquhar at the bungalow. He's now just in front. Now this is Martin at Keppelgate, he's fifth away from everyone but let, how about this so Michael Dunlop has actually made the charge up over the mountain here's Bruce Anstey yep still on course for fourth and he's got a safe fourth now from Martin a good start to the week for the Kiwi uh, losing every bit of track there is uh, there's Douglas down in the distance down the bottom there that's where they're aiming for at the end of this the four lap race of course the senior on Friday is a six lapper there's Bruce flies all over him yep round Keppelgate dropping down see in front of him John McGuinness, he's through Governors, and we look up towards Glen Crutchery Road, and there is John McGuinness as the check and flag waves, and McGuinness is a winner yet again here around the mountain course. Ryan Farquhar sees the check and flag now. Now he has to wait to see if Michael Dunlop will deprive him of that second place, which looked his for so much of the race. There is Michael, so we can confirm this now, and Michael is confirmed in second place. So, leading from start to finish and after 19 victories, John McGuinness had his first win in the class, beating Michael Dunlop into second by 7.8 seconds. It was the first finish of the week for the Northern Irishman, putting in an incredible last lap to beat fellow countryman Ryan Farquhar, who finished third. Well, the grandstand remained rammed as everybody wanted to see John enjoy yet another podium. A moment to tell their grandchildren about, perhaps. Even a disappointed Michael Dunlop managed to enjoy himself up there, alongside Ryan Farquhar. Amazing to think that's a first Superstock TT for John McGuinness. Now, his current tally is 19 TTs, but the magic number of 20 wins is definitely on the cards this year. Joey Dunlop's incredible record of 26 wins is beginning to look a little vulnerable, as the man from Morecambe is seemingly unstoppable year after year.